great news I can talk again <laughs> hey that is very cool so this is a quick wisdom tooth extraction update my superman Francisco Oliver Dr. Francisco Oliver did the amazing thing again ripped out my wisdom teeth on this side and everything is hunky-dory it was literally on the same day that I decided I don't need any painkillers I also decided not to take the antibiotics that he prescribed that I should take for about one week there's about 21 of them so three amoxicillin every day and I was thinking you know last time we took these wisdom teeth out I didn't require any antibiotics in fact I wasn't allowed to take them because it would have interfered with my cancer medication with the Keytruda the only thing that interferes with that medication are in fact antibiotics so they advise to not take that Dr. Kuznir said that's not a good idea and we didn't do that and nothing bad happened so in the same spirit I decided I'm not going to take antibiotics now and there's a few reasons for that I mean on one hand I'm thinking if it ain't broken don't fix it that's very important but at the same time also we're going on a trip to Ohio on Thursday so I didn't really want to be bogged down with any other stuff I also didn't want to get an infection of course but they saw there's always this argument about giving patients too many antibiotics and our bacteria in our body growing resistant to those so not very good I was fit enough to do several screencasts yesterday I think I did about four five of them in fact and now it's about editing them and putting them out on my other channel let me just sneak over the intersection here yes so um, it's all good funny thing happened actually while while he was taking those teeth out the top one is usually not a problem he said but the bottom teeth they can break so I didn't have that last year on my bottom right wisdom tooth that was just you know kind of a pulling action and it was it, it remained complete but this time around the bottom wisdom tooth was really deeply densely embedded into the bone so when he pulled it he basically pulled the top bit of the tooth off and that was uh, a weird sensation and it wasn't a big issue it just took a little bit longer and what he had to do then is that the remaining piece of the tooth and it was all filled with a you know with kind of a black filling material there whatever that was what he had to do is then split the rest of the tooth and pull the remaining pieces out one by one for them it's like putting a new carpet in so uh, for us that'd be a bit scary but for surgeons they just they just do these things all day long like Dr. Zomstein fiddles with people's colons you know crazy stuff and he's doing a magnificent job at that as well so don't try this at home kids of course so yes that's my wisdom teeth and they're now sorted there are a few stitches on the bottom because it was such a long big procedure he had to put three stitches in and if I get the chance I will see my other dentist uh, Dr. Pena and see if she can remove them before we go on, uh, go on our trip to Ohio so that I can eat fish and chips that Jay Cherie keeps telling me about that we get at that Indian reservation the thing that is closest to the British fish and chips that we get over here in fact there was one company one restaurant I think it's called the British Garden there's somewhere in downtown Miami somewhere in Midtown actually and we had an Amazon restaurant delivery from them once because we had a voucher there and it was horrendously expensive but they did do really good fish and chips so uh, they're proper cod otherwise cod is not as ubiquitous here in Miami as it is in Britain <laughs> is I think we have more the tilapia kind of white fish here and that's got a very different consistency nice fish but it's just not caught you know so there we go anyway we'll see what that trip brings I hope I can shoot a lot of footage of the Niagara Falls both from the American side as well as from the Canadian side it's very interesting and of course there's cold I haven't experienced cold in eight years seven eight years I don't know six years I don't remember ever since 2012 I haven't experienced cold not including the cold hospital wards of course and the occasional chilly spells we get here which aren't actually that chilly at all so I think there was if it if it drops below 
70 degrees Fahrenheit. So as soon as it hits something along the lines of 17, 18 degrees centigrade, that's really, really cold for us. And that's, I remember that's just my normal room temperature in London. But uh, here, this is, this is terrible. I have a tiny bit of arthritis in my right thumb, uh, literally down here. I can always feel when it's getting cold. I remember cold mornings walking to IMG in Chiswick in the morning. That thumb would always, always complain. And it's one of those things, I spoke to a doctor about that a while ago, and he says it could be a touch of arthritis. <sighs> whole getting old thing isn't as fantastic as I read about it in the brochure. Which brochure was that? Yeah, I don't really remember that either. Mm -hmm.